When you're creating elevations in Revit, what you do is normally create them in a plan view. So in our project browser, we're still on our 00, zero ground floor structural plan. And you can see the four default elevation markers in the plan. There's west, there's north, there's east, and there's south. I'm going to zoom in on the west elevation marker here, like so. Now, if I just pan a little bit, so you can see it more clearly, if I click on it, I've got the opportunity of switching on elevations in the other three compass directions from that marker. Be a bit useless, though, because there'd be nothing to look at, be absolutely empty. Hence, why we've only got the west one ticked here, like so. And it's named west because we're looking from the west at our building in our Revit structure project. So as soon as I tick one of these boxes, I'll be able to name the other views here. But I don't want to do that. I only want the west marker. So I hit escape a couple of times, like so. I can move that marker at any time. If I click on it, notice when I hover over it there, can you see the crosshair? So if I click there now, I can drag that marker anywhere I want to, like so. I'll just place it back roughly where it was before, and then hit escape a couple of times to deselect it. If I double click on the arrow here, Notice I highlight the arrow and the west highlights. If I double click, that takes me straight to my west elevation in the project browser. Very, very useful because you can just double click on any elevation marker and go to the view that you need to look at. So I'm looking at the west view now of the building. There's the structural walls, there's the circular hollow sections. I'm going to go back now to the ground floor level. So into my structural plan, 000, zero, zero ground floor. Going to double click on the wheel to zoom extent. You can, of course, type ZE if you wish. I'm then going to go to the View tab here on the ribbon. And in the Create panel now, you can see I can create an elevation there, or I can create a framing elevation. We'll look at framing elevations later. So I click on Elevation. I've been prompted to save the project. Revit will do that sometimes, so let's click on Save. And there's my marker there. It's thinking about it, and then I can place it. So I'm just going to click there like that. And you'll notice when I zoom in now, it's called it Elevation 1A. Now I've placed that marker. I don't need to place any more. So I'll just hit Escape a couple of times there to make sure I don't place any more markers in error. What I want to do is rename that Elevation 1A. So what we're going to do, we're going to rename that as Internal Stair East. OK, so I can just double click like that. There's the view, like so. And if I come down here, find my Elevation 1A here, I can just move over it in the browser, right click, rename, and I want that internal. So it's internal stair dash east elevation, like that. And I'll click on OK. That renames that view in there, like so in the browser. And there's my view there. Now you'll notice we have a crop region for that particular elevation. So if I click on it like that, I can bring that down a bit to about there and just tidy that up a little bit. There's all my elevation markers there. And what I can do now is I can just switch that crop region off by clicking there. And there's my new elevation all set up and ready to go. Now, if I go back to my structural ground floor plan, my 000, zero, zero I can also click here and add other views if I wish. So if I click that there, that gives me elevation 1B. You'll notice now I've got an elevation 1B here. If I double click there, there's the view of elevation 1B. Now, I don't need that view, so what I can do is as soon as I go back to here, to the ground floor, if I untick that, Elevation 1B will be deleted. I OK that and go back here. You'll notice in the elevations, Elevation 1B is gone. So you can place those elevations anywhere you like in your Revit structure project. They can be internal, external, and they can be at any level within your drawings as well.